Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Do we all cash me? I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna gonna cash in. Do we all cash me? Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Here we are in the car. Oh my god. <laughs> We're heading out to Thanksgiving with our kangaroo Aussies. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's the Thanksgiving show. I have with me here Natalie. What's up? Who's that in the box? I think it's the Australian Aussie girls. The Aussie girl could have gone. Oh no, I've been spotted. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode three. Tonight is a beautiful night, as it is always, but especially tonight, because in the back, right now as we speak, I got a piping, hot, sizzling, fresh barbecue, bacon, chicken, pineapple pie. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that deliciousness right there. Absolutely. That is going to go in my belly. You know what I'm saying? Cheat meal, baby. Tonight is good old Black Friday night, and I'm having a ball. I'm out here a little bit late tonight. It's a little bit before midnight, and I'm wandering around. I'm seeing a lot of boxes. Um, I've already seen many, many uh, brand new LED boxes. Uh, nothing uh, really major to report so far. Um, I do, my first complex of the evening, I did pick up a very, very beautiful... Um, pinstripe, really nice coat, uh, like a blazer suit coat from the UK. And uh, it's beautiful pinstripe, uh, great condition, no rips or tears. That's in the back. I'll get a close-up of that later. But uh, I'm on a mission tonight. I'm going to probably hit about six complexes. Um, uh, it was raining earlier today, so I'm a little wary about possible people not leaving things outside. Uh, because they didn't want to take it down in the rain earlier, but it hasn't rained probably for the last eight hours or so. I've already seen a, a four-drawer IKEA dresser, but it was a little bit messed up. So I'm just cruising around, and hopefully I have more to report, but I will be looking all weekend, Saturday night, tomorrow night, and also, of course, my favorite day, which is Sunday. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, here's the plunder for Black Friday. A nice little Billy London UK suit, very nice on the uh, inside. I'm just gonna get it dry cleaned, and I think it's, uh, I think it's my size. Again, no rips or tears on it. Nice blue on the inside. Again, pinched right. We'll keep that for a nice little, uh, nice little coat. Just try to find some pants to match, and you got a free suit right there. That does look like my size here, but I uh, probably will uh, try it on here uh, and double check before I invest in dry cleaning it. Um, all right, next up, nice little, uh, what do we got here? Uh, Mike Piazza, catcher's mitt, probably condition 9.99 out of 10. Uh, I think it's pretty much brand new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Very, very firm glove. Um, fantastic. So probably someone bought a catcher's mitt and said, oh, my gosh, like I meant to buy a regular mitt. And Galaxy Note 2, uh, pink case for the ladies there. And we got some shoes, pretty beat up, but we are going to start saving some more shoes again for the kids in Africa. Um, and that is it. So nothing major, major, but I dig this. I dig this. This is all right. This is cool for others. You know what I'm saying? So again, nothing major, but uh, I looked this up. This will go for about 30 bucks on eBay plus shipping. And I'll probably just keep this. So I'm not sure, but I'll research that. There's the uh, really nice bristle vacuum right there guys all the attachments bagless looks really nice but i already have too many vacuums so i'm going to skip that one let someone who needs it takes it uh probably works it looks really good condition but again uh too many vacuums not enough storage guys look at the plunder here oh my gosh so right after i just got done i checked out another few and look at these brand new tarp zip ups zipper system by tarp line and they're for like boats and all this other stuff that like goes around and like anyway there's the, uh, there was a whole box of them um, I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 of these things these things have to go for like 
$7.99 each. So those will probably go on eBay. Uh, these are for the uh, kids in uh, Africa. Really cool sandals there. And then this right here is the bag that I was talking about, right? So we'll get this. Anyway, here's the... It's kind of like Christmas decoration pop-up boxes, I guess. The snowflakes on them or whatever. Um, brand new sealed um, pop-up boxes. I'm going to find out what store these are from. I'm just going to take them back to the store, I think, here. It's all sealed up here. But let's get that out of the way here real quick. And let me get to the good stuff here. So right off the bat, of course it's not in there, but this huge Bed Bath & Beyond bag here. Right off the bat, I see a Bose box right here. Okay, I just again, I just shoved this in my car. I haven't even looked at this. You're right here with me. So, okay, of course it's not in there. Um, I knew that was going to happen, but um, anyway, yeah, there's nothing, absolutely nothing in there. Let's move on to the next batch here. We got um, a giraffe skateboarding, and the hat looks brand new. Um, we got a the barracks field control hat looks brand new um, We got some trash in here But the reason I grabbed this was because of all these cases here we got uh, Is there something in there? Nope optical that's a nice case though. Wow salt that's a beautiful glasses case. That's the reason I grabbed this bag. I saw the cases. So I'm going to use my other sunglasses in this case. That's a beautiful case. Um, here we got Ditta Ditta glasses case. That's another nice glasses case there. So I guess I'm finding a bunch of glasses cases. Here's a Coastal.com glasses case. Uh, let's see, another glasses case. Jiminy Cricket. Um, and of course nothing in that one so guys you're right here along with me here as I'm doing this a uh, two piece iPhone 3G 3GS case um, let's see a plush pillow bag the heck is that is that fish that's disgusting that's a vacuum seal of the fish so we gotta throw that right away um, so we'll put that off to the side for right now while we dig through the rest of this, and then we're going to throw that right back away. Um, let's see here. What's this? This is a Made in America twist. Twist hoodie. Well, that's a nice hoodie. I'm going to have to wash that, though. I thought I saw a little... That's a beautiful... Wow, that's really nice. A very comfortable-looking uh, hoodie there. We'll put that over there in the dry-cleaning pile. All right, let's get that out of the way. I'm going to be a little more careful here as we're reaching into some tissues. We don't want to touch those tissues. Wow, that's a nice glasses case. Wow. So this is a super, super dry case. That's really nice. And then, again, another salt. That's eyeglasses with the little blue thing in there. Okay. And I believe... Whoop, Oh man, I wish those were in there. A pair of Oakleys frog skins. Oh my gosh. I would have loved it if those were in there. Frog skins are the heat. Real quick, guys, a little tip for you. Um, to find out where a store is located from an item that you've uh, found. So you grab an item, just like the one I showed you, those little boxes with the snowflakes, and you're like, where on earth? is this store, you know, I don't know where this is from. I don't want to go to Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't want to go to Home Depot, I don't want to just wander around everywhere and figure this out and look like, you know, an idiot trying to, you know, uh, return this item. So, get Red Laser application for Droid or iPhone. Red Laser or Barcode Reader and just scan the uh, CPU symbol, the UPC symbol, I'm sorry, um, the little barcode scanner on the back scan that and it should come up with a couple um, stores that uh, offer that for purchase within the area that should help if it doesn't it's worth a shot uh, it's you know it's not all hope isn't lost you know it still is available at some store we just got to find out where but uh, that's a little tip for you you guys saw that whole box 
of Herbalife, right? Uh, there's supplements inside, and I don't know exactly if they're multivitamins or sample packs. There might be hopefully better than that, but I did open one box, and there's a ton of these little boxes in there, and there were like these Her Herbalife supplements. And so I know Herbalife people sell those for big bucks, and so that's fantastic. And then also, earlier, my first complex of the evening, my favorite one, I saw those those zip-up things that I uh, showed you guys earlier. I had, think I had like 13 or 14 of them. They're selling on eBay for like $13 a piece. So that's fantastic. That's a great score right there. You know, uh, what, uh, 13 times uh, 13 times 13, 13 times 14, uh, subtract a little bit of eBay fees. Not bad for a quick pickup. So, uh, and then I grabbed, uh, this last complex, I grabbed a nice laptop, uh, um, case in great condition, black one. And then something else that looked like, I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna have to open up the box and take a look and see what it is. But it was kind of weird. It came in a carrying case and everything. So let me show that to you when I get back to the shop. Guys, this has to be a good score. I'm talking bottles and bottles of Herbalife supplements. This looks like the weight control stuff, total control weight. I mean, 90 tablets. I mean, this whole box is full. Look at this. We have liftoff, feel good drink tablets. Every single one of these boxes, look at how many there are, just deep, full of three tablets of total control. Um, pills, 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 pills. Herbalife fiber drink mix. Active fiber. Even has Herbalife bags to bag it in. I'm talking aloe vera, shampoo, body lotion. I'm sorry, body lotion. Um, someone literally quit the business and hooked everything. Personalized protein powder, brand new. And look at look at all those other supplements down there. Shampoos, lotions, more protein powder. This whole box has to be probably worth at least a couple hundred dollars, at least. Shaker cups over here as well. There's like two shaker cups for the protein powder. And here's the laptop case here. I think it's a Tarsus, I think. Nice black with a nice little blue soft interior. Looks like for about a 13, 14 inch laptop. So that's real nice, little zipper there. Good condition there. Little uh, leather uh, bottom area. Now let's take a look at this thing over here. I was very intrigued upon this thing here. Um, this is in a case. It was actually inside the uh, the dumpster here. It has a little, little strap and everything there. I have no idea what this is. OL1000 is what it is. Now, let's take a little look here. And this is what I see when I open it up. I have no idea what that is. I want to be careful, make sure it's nothing weird. Um, let's pick it up out of here. I mean, what the heck is this? This looks like a, uh, is that a, what is that? Is that a, for like a hyperbaric chamber for a broken leg or something? What the heck is this? Um, OL1000. It's almost like you put your leg in there and it compresses. I don't know what the heck that is. If you guys know what this is, comment below. Be the first one to comment. Find out what it is. If not, I'm going to have to do some research. But it has all the important... Yeah, uh, orthopedics. Foot. It's something for a foot. So there's troubleshooting. I'm going to find out what the heck this is. Um, oh, oh. You put it around your... Um, okay, I see. So you... Um, you put it around your shoulder here. And it looks like it's missing the Velcro strap. Looks like there's supposed to be a strap with it. It might be... It might be in here. What's this? Ah, look at this. All sorts of little secret compartments here. Um, let's see what this is. What is this? Alright, so we have extra, extra batteries here for it. So that's cool. So this thing... Guys, this thing might be a good score if this thing actually works. 
So that's a battery case. I hope it's not missing any parts. Okay, there we go. There's the batteries there. So it's all battery powered. It looks like it's in good condition and that compresses. Alrighty guys, here we go. We got a couple space heaters here. Little floor space heaters. Uh, two of them. Um, they look a little used but still in really good condition. Check this out here. So we got a brand new sealed crock pot here. I'm going to re-gift this for sure. Alright guys, found a whole box of shoes here. Forever 21 shoes, port shoes, a um, bunch of kids shoes for the kids over in Africa, man. I'm really pumped up about that. Whole entire big old Albertsons bag full of those. I've um, got a bunch of random cords here. You always need some different cords. I'll keep some, throw some away. And then check this out. Look at this, guys. This is what I'm talking about right here. We got a brand new knife set. Are you kidding me right now? Brand spanking new. Look at this thing. Amazing. 12 piece stainless steel. The box was just chilling like this, right? I open it up and bada bing bada boom. It's all in there. Are you kidding me right now? Beautiful score. Beautiful. And then we come over here again, remember? Look at this sealed slow cooker. Now, obviously that's not worth very much and I already have one. But I'm hoping to return both of these for store credit. Hopefully they both go to the same one. This one looks a little bit older. I might re-gift that. This one definitely looks like probably Walmart is my guess. Then I also found this. This is really cool. A little socket set here. You can always use more sockets, I guess. As a um, extension here as well. Plus all the sockets. That was pretty cool. You know, just kind of cheap. I don't think it even has a name brand on it. But... Um, here we go, 40 piece socket set there with one fourth and three eighths drive. Guys, look at this right here. So we got some clothes over here, but check this out. Look what I see lying right on top. That catches, you know what kind of print that is. That caught my eye like a hawk right there. Burberry. Look at this thing, guys. Are you joking me right now? It says Burberries, though. All right, guys, not bad at all. Burberry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it home. We're going to look at all the symbols, make sure it's authentic. If that's authentic, I'm going to keep it for myself or I'm going to see what the flip rate is, see if it's worth. And I mean, obviously those things are, I think like five, 600 brand new. If it is authentic, I dry clean it. No rips, no tears. I might be able, I, I, I haven't looked at the value on those in a while, but I'm thinking somewhere of upwards of maybe 150, maybe 200 bucks if it's in really good condition, you know, pre-owned. But I mean, that's an item, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's that cream color on the outside, you know, nice. It'd be nicer if it was like navy blue or black, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Free Burberry is Burberry, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take it home. Look at the symbols, make sure thought it's authentic. Even if it's not authentic, even if it's like some generic, like, you know, knockoff. Um, still, same material, great material. Um, the outside looks beautiful. Um, folded it up, just took a little quick look at it. And I'm going to look at it back uh, uh, at home in, uh, in the daytime because uh, it's getting a little bit late right now. I've got to head to bed. So um, I will let you guys know what the uh, outcome is on that. Alrighty guys, good news. This is genuine and this is authentic. I was a little worried at first because you probably saw last night in that quick clip of it. It actually has a plural S on the end of it, where right here it says Burberries with an S. Now of course, nowadays Burberry does not have an S on the end, but I went on eBay, checked it out, and this is like we're talking vintage original made in England from like the 60s or 70s. And they were actually called Burberries back then. And it, this is 100% cotton. This is a woman's. I'm not sure exactly the size of it. But it's absolutely just stunning gorgeous. Um, dry clean only. Um, has all the nifty little... Uh, print in there, beautiful little connectors here, even has the belt around back and everything right here that I need to untie that and clip it in the front 
And uh, so we're actually going to dry clean this. And I did some research online. And uh, this is easily worth eh, $150, $200 bucks easy um, for a good condition like this. I just, of course, need to get it dry cleaned a little bit. A um, couple little smudges on it, so on and so forth. But those come right out. All the buttons intact. I mean, just beautiful. The only problem, though, is that the missus has already claimed fame to it. So she wants to keep it. So there goes a couple hundred bucks out of my pocket, but hey, you know, if it makes the missus happy, then uh, life is happy, you know? That's right. So guys, this was just an amazing score. Just Hey, pump. you better not sell that. This is my buddy. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Another awesome round of finds. You know, I'm getting lucky. Some nights are hot, some nights are not. So you just got to keep going at it, guys. Keep looking, keep digging. And as always, guys, I want you to know that if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get updates on the upcoming episodes once they come out. And also, again, we fired up not too long ago, dumpsterdivinghq.com for all your viewing pleasure there. And I got to get back home because this pie is calling my name. It's going, Chris, eat me. And so I'm starving right now. So I'm going to head on back. I'm probably going to have pizza sweats here in a little bit. You know, that's where you just sit down and, you know, man, I'm probably going to watch a movie and then just dive on into it. Yep, that's it. All right, guys, until next time, stay classy, stay happy, smile, and say hello. Until next time, guys, episode four.